Hey guys, it's me, Steph, back at it again with another video, but this time it's more of a Halloween look, which I call the Bloody Valentine. If you guys would like to implement any of my ideas onto your Halloween look, then keep on watching. First things first, I'll be priming my lips, then I'll be going into my face using the Milk Blur Stick. This does wonders on your pores, it just covers them up pretty well. I only use this when I'm going to use tons and tons of foundation. For brows, I'll be going in a little bit bold today because of this look. For brows, I'll be going in with the e.l.f. brow pencil in the color neutral brown. Yee. I first start with the outline of my brows just to have an idea of how I'm gonna want them to look. Once I got that shape of the brow in place, I just start filling out the brow and I just brush it out just to get the color even around the brow. You might be thinking, where the hell is that good eyebrow? Well, wait for the next step. Once those hush puppies are complete, I'll be cleaning out my brows, giving them shape with the brush Morphe M432 and using the concealer Infallible. blender just blending up the foundation pushing it in make it look snatched make it look clean like this yeet for foundation I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape in medium sand light medium sand but first I'll be correcting my under dark circle eyes using this NYX lip liner in the color Orange County. Since I primed my skin with moisturizer, it's easier for me to apply this lip liner onto my skin without having to really tug on it. And once you get enough of that color, orangey color, onto your dark circles, just give it a few more minutes and yeah, like that. Once I'm done with that, I just blend in with my fingers. The reason why I use my fingers is because they're warm. So when you start blending in a lip line color, it blends it out easily. So I'll just be doing that. And once I'm done and I look like this, I'll dot in some foundation. looks like this. I'll be blending in, starting out with the under eyes. Quick reminder you guys, never ever forget to cover your ears as well. I mean because you are trying to have your face match to your ears. I mean. Once that's done, I will be applying concealer and just a bit of foundation in a light color. Looking like dish. And yet once again, we'll blend that out. And once I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, I'll be setting in my under eyes with this translucent powder from Fiat or Fiat, however you pronounce it. I'll be using the Face Tapered by BSL Mall to set my under eyes. Just go hands on with that powder because you need those creases to hold its place. We can't expose the creases. That's a no-no. After a while, 
while, Boppy. I'll be going back with my base tampered brush and just adding the excess powder that I use for my under eyes and just lightly setting it onto the rest of my face just to have the foundation set and not moving. So as I let my under eyes set, I'll be going in with this palette, Nomad. And I'll be going in with the color Club Notch. This color, I'll be mainly focusing it on my eyelid. I'll try to get the pigment as dark as possible onto the eyelid. And once that's done, I'll be working it towards my crease with the same color, but I'll be adding it very slightly just to give it a smoky feel to both of the eyes. Yeah, I kind of messed it up right there, but there's always a way around fixing this. Once I'm done with this part, I'll be going back into my palette with this color attach list and I'll slightly but surely work into my brow bone and blending it out with the black just to give it that transition color from black to red but in a very subtle way. Once that part's done, I'll be going back in with my face tempered brush and removing off the powder. Next step, I'll be going in with this pencil marking my waterline, which for the most part is like the worst part ever because I have a very sensitive waterline. So once that pencil touches my waterline, I just it just goes to hell from there. So but once I get it looking like this, I'll be going in with this flat brushed pencil and using the black eyeshadow and just smudging it underneath my eyes. Once I get it looking like this, I'll be going in with my angled brush and going in with the red color and I'll be doing basically the same thing I did on the top of my eyes, just blending it into the black just to give it that same transition from black to red. And once I'm done with the eyes, I'll be going in with this brush that has a tiny bristle because I will be drawing in hearts. It will be accompanied by this Kylie liquid lipstick, matte liquid lipstick in the color Leo, which by the way is also my zodiac sign. So at this point, I'll just be drawing in hearts. I'll be applying this gold color, poor but sexy, and then I'll be going in and filling out the hearts. Once I'm done filling out the hearts, I'll be going in with this palette from Morphe 35G Bronze Gold, and I'll be dipping it in in bronzy tannish brown color and I'll be dotting in freckles onto my face. Then I'll be going back in with the palette but using this darker brown and I'll be dotting in more freckles onto my face. For the lips, I will be applying foundation because I want to outline my lips smaller for this look. So for that, I have to give it a clean canvas and start outlining my lips. For the outline of my lips, I'll be going in with this NYX lip pencil in the color Nutmeg Muscade. And I'll be outlining my lips, but yet I won't be outlining them to the true shape of my lips. I'll be underlining my lips. Done outlining my lips, I'll be giving my lips a quick fixer upper with some concealer and I'll be using the Morphe M432 brush. And for lips, I'll be going in with this matte liquid lipstick, the same one that I use to draw out my hearts. Once 
once I'm done with that, I'll be going in with the beauty blender and just cleaning out the corners of my lips just to give that illusion of smaller lips. And I'll be dragging down the lipstick because I will be going in with my fingers and smudging it out to give it that bloody look. And to make it look a little bit more fresh, I'll be adding some of my strawberry lip gloss on top of it and onto my lips as well. And for my eyelashes, I'll just be applying mascara. I won't be adding in any falsies because I feel like um, since I already have long lashes, I could just overcoat them until they look volumized and look lengthy. I mean, basically, they end up looking somewhat like false lashes. After a good long minute of applying mascara, I'll be going in with blush and I'll be using the Rocketeer in this color with this angled brush and I'll just be dabbing some of that blush onto my cheeks. The reason why I apply blush onto my cheeks is because I feel like it would give the hearts and freckles a little bit more life. It doesn't make them look as dead and plain. And I also think it looks cute. I mean, you can never go wrong with blush. After that, I'll be applying some of my bronzer below my cheekbones just to make the look a little bit more dramatic. Then I'll be going in with a flat brush and just blending out the harsh contour. To give the contour more of a clean look, I'll be using this beauty blender that has a flat surface and I'll be going in with some of the powder that I use to set my under eyes and just let it sit for a while. And with this flat brush, I'll be removing the powder that I applied. I'll then be going in with this angled brush and just adding some bronzer just to make my forehead look a little bit smaller because I do have a big forehead. After that shebang is complete, I'll just be setting in my face with my Mario Badescu <laughs> and once that's done, just dry it out, let it sit, let it marinate, and there you go. That's my complete look, guys. If you guys enjoy my look, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to keep on watching for more videos to come, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys. Until next time, bye.